delivered, uh, delivered a ruling, which essentially uh, the court, the court refrained from making any orders with regards to the opening of the bank accounts that belong to uh, Pastor Ezekiel Ombo Podero or New Life Prayer Centre and Church. Now, uh, uh, thereafter, uh, we had a meeting between councils and resolved that since the matter was left undetermined as to whether there was any reasonable ground or justifiable cause or reason to freeze the bank accounts belonging to Pastor Ezekiel and uh, his ministry. Uh, we resolved that as a matter of urgency, an application ought to, have been to, ought to be filed before uh, Honorable Ekubi, uh, Ben Mark Ekubi, uh, seated here in Midimani Law Courts, since he, was the, he is the court that initially issued orders that uh, uh, froze the bank accounts belonging to the pastor and the church. Now, this morning, and this is what is fundamental, this morning we filed a very urgent application that seeks to arrest a ruling, a ruling that is set to be delivered tomorrow. You will also recall that last week, when we approached the, uh, the Honorable Court, uh, Honorable Kubi, we made a number of uh, indications that the orders that were issued freezing the bank accounts of uh, Pastor Ezekiel were actually issued fraudulently, and for that reason we had hoped then that the, those accounts will be unfrozen. But because of the developments of yesterday, what the High Court did, and for the obvious reason that the court had reserved its ruling pending the determination of the issues by the High Court so that it could not embarrass the court. Now, the application we have filed today seeks to arrest the ruling that is supposed now to be read tomorrow by the, the Honorable Court, uh, Honorable Ekubi, which essentially was meant to tell us whether there is sufficient ground to review or vary the orders that were issued freezing the bank accounts belonging to Pastor Ezekiel Ombok Odero. Now, the application has been filed seeking to arrest that judgment. And secondly, we have sought, as a matter of priority, because uh, some of the accounts, and this is very important for the, the members of the press to highlight, some of the bank accounts that have been frozen actually belong to the, the, the funds collected from YouTube after people have even watched what, uh, you know, uh, th this life uh, uh, broadcast and uh, preachings. So it does not make sense to freeze a bank account, number one, that belongs to or rather receives funds that are given by the YouTube. Secondly, there is a question about the best interest of children.